I'm going to show you how to rig a skip bait. I'm not as good at this as some of the guys who do it professionally, but it seems to work for me and I'll show you the key important things that you need to know about. Skip baits are such a good bait for so many species. The way I like to get my rigs ready, circle hook and a bit of stiff tube. That's the armor tube that you'd use when you make the loop on the end like that so it doesn't wear through when it's connected to your snap swivel. A piece of wax thread or a doubled over piece of wax thread just like that, tied so it's nice and stiff. The great thing about this is you can have all these ready in your tackle bag for when you go fishing. The other thing we need is a nice long piece of wax thread and a stitching needle. The next thing, a nice fresh slimy mackerel, and I tend to stick that needle right in there through the side of him, just like that. Pull it all the way through, leave yourself a bit of a, a working tag. Then, I just work the needle from side to side down the mackerel's body, and you can do this with a bonito, you can do it with yellowtail, you can do it with all sorts of baits, but slimies are just so prevalent out here that they make such a good bait. Then I come back up, go back through that same hole, out there like this. And I know there's gonna be some really good deckies out there in this country just laughing at this skip bait because they do it so well. They're like surgeons. Now, the idea of this crisscross pattern is that it helps strengthen the bait. It's gonna be slapping its way across the surface of the water. One thing I did forget to do, it's important to pull the eyes out because if we don't, they'll bulge with water pressure, which will then cause the bait to skip or not skip properly and spin around and not work how it should. Okay, so we have now an eyeless bait. I get my thread, once again, through the needle. And wax thread's the key important thing to use because it's waxy, it pulls up nice and tight and sort of bites on itself very well. Okay, through there. Then I bring this one over the top as well and you can usually just poke it through the hole that you've made between the eye sockets, just like that. And what we've now done is we've stitched the head to the body, because you've got to remember this might be skipping around for a couple of hours before it gets eaten. If it's not a fresh bait, if it was something that was caught yesterday or even frozen, it's not going to be quite as firm or as, or as good as the real thing. But if you stitch them up, they're going to last you a long time. Now, I just lay this down onto my wet towel pull that nice and tight. You can see I've just done a single granny knot in it and it bites on itself and that's because the wax that's in it. A couple of just overhand loops like that. Trim this up. And this is certainly not the only way to rig a skip bait. There's a whole lot of different ways you can do it, but it works well for me. It's nice and easy. And when I'm doing them out here in the ocean, especially on a rough day at the moment, the weather's great, but on a rough day being head down, it makes me feel a little bit sick. So next step, quite simply get my stitching needle straight through the top which is nice and hard there and out that bottom part of the jaw one of those threads into the needle pull that through now just like everything else in this bait we work in opposites get the other thread and that will go from the underside up through the top okay now Get these and evenly. You can actually even put a little, just a, a bit of a mark in there, and you'll see what this does in a second. Pull these up nice and even. That will sit into that groove there on the nose. Then, more simple overhand knots one like that then to keep this nice and tight I go around the back and pull that tight and then I'll go around the back and around like that a couple of times pull this stuff up nice and tight and the more we do this the tighter it makes everything sit on the nose this won't come undone and you can actually see the bits of wax coming off the thread, that's wax, and again, that's what makes it so sticky. Trim that up. Now we have a skip bait that's ready to roll. Best thing about this, this stiff piece of tube keeps that circle hook nice and free, allows the bait to skip beautifully, and it all works very, very well. Like I said, there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. This is just a way that works for me. If you've got ways that you like to do it or ways you'd like to try, give it a go. It's just a simple one, nice and quick, I don't get seasick.